Thank you, okay. Ian. From one turkey to another now. <laughs> if you find cooking Christmas dinner difficult, imagine doing it in the open air on a barbecue. But it can all be so different. A couple from Grafty Green near Maidstone have been demonstrating how you can cook an entire Christmas Day meal on a barbecue. Gavin Gray put them to the test. It's a cold, wet and windy December day. Ideal for a barbecue then. The world barbecue champions, though, are trying to change the way we think about barbecues and what barbecuing actually means. The challenge at Chobham near Bracknell is to cook an entire Christmas dinner on one. But you can forget those images of flames and blackened, spitting meat. There'll be no flames in my barbecue. Um, flames are nasty things. You'll get a singed bird on the outside, a raw bird in the middle, and about five days on the loo, which is not a good idea. <laughs> Not what you want to do at Christmas. <laughs> so this is much more of a smoking it is, ceiling? It's smoking. Um, we start off with two hours on a low smoke, um, just to give that, that mild smoky flavour. Then we turn the heat up. Um, probably in oven terms, we about gas mark five or six. And we finish cooking the bird on that. The 18 pound turkey requires about five hours cooking time. A little salt, pepper and butter covered by a muslin cloth on the top, a cut apple inside. The vegetables do need parboiling, but are then smoked and roasted for between an hour and an hour and a half. The barbecue slowly burns wood pellets taken via a conveyor belt from the source. It's environmentally friendly using an electric filament just to ignite them and is ready to cook in just four minutes. The fat drains away and therefore it's a very clean cook and very healthy. The um, emissions um, from this are carbon neutral, so it um, ties in with the Coyote agreements and um, is obviously something we want to move towards. And last but not least, it is convenient as gas or electricity. How long did it take For the last hour's cooking, we invited along two instructors from Defence Food Services Corps. So how long does it take to actually get it up to temperature to start cooking? If you put it on to high first. They're experts in cooking away from a kitchen and seemed impressed at the 1,250 pound American made machine. But I'm an expert at eating inside, and so after five hours everything was ready, and it was time just to see how good those barbecue champions are. The answer is very good. This is absolutely fantastic. The turkey's very nice, smoke flavour, fantastic. I'd recommend it to anyone. Is it suitable for mass catering or individuals? Or? Um, the barbecue that they have outside there, we could probably use in the field army. It, it tends to get dry when you cook it in the oven because like, people cook it for a long time, a long period of time. But yeah, that's very nice. You, you can taste the smoky flavour. Yeah, very, very juicy. The slight pink tinge to the outside of the meat is the effect of the smoke. The taste depends on which wood fuel you use. Ours was hickory and it was delicious. It was a bit daunting, to be honest. Um, I thought, well, if anyone's going to pick holes in my cooking, they will. But um, they didn't. They didn't. They liked it. And I even offered a bribe, but they said they didn't want one, so there was no point. <laughs> and they really are outdoor chefs. Mm. I mean, they're guys who cook in all sorts of conditions. And so there we have it, the all-in-one Christmas lunch, which may well revolutionise the way we cook on December the 25th. The trouble is, no one has yet found a revolutionary way to clear up quickly. Gavin Gray at home with hours of clearing up to do for Meridian tonight.